My apologies. The program that I use to record this uh, only lets me record 15 minutes at a time. So to finish this example, I am going to mirror these heads and, and mirror them over the center line here. And now I've completed and I'm able to mirror it because with head to head coverage, they're identical going across. And uh, this completes the design. This is with square spacing. Also, if you guys look down here, this is where um, it will tell you if you guys can read this, what radius is as I'm pulling this across. So right now, uh, this is a 30 foot by 30 foot square, and I'm going to say it's turf. Um, so with this 30 foot, I could do that's in the rotor range. So I could do four rotors, one in each quarter. And then if I went into my uh, rotor, I would choose the 30 foot rotor. And uh, that would be the completion. Now, let's say I didn't have enough pressure to run rotors. As you guys remember, it requires more pressure, uh, usually 45 pounds of pressure. Um, the next thing I could do is uh, move to uh, uh, finding out what this is. So now half that distance is 15 foot. So 15 foot, um, I start with my center. And now I know 15 foot works all the way around, just like in that previous example. So as you see here, that's a perfect uh, 15 foot design. And then um, uh, we, you could do it with 15 foot spray heads or they make the 15 foot rotators. So um, I like the rotators. They're uh, higher uh, uniformity. So I'm going to choose this. And now I'm putting in my 15 foot rotators. That's my hat. And then my pull. And that's the completion of this design. Um, I could swap these all for a 15 foot spray head. My flow would just increase, um, but it would be the same design. Now, one of the things that I didn't show you earlier, but if you start looking, when you get a good head layout, um, when it's especially perfectly square, um, we call it flower petals. You start to see these flower petals. I'm tracing it right here. Um, and that means that you have a really good head layout. Um, and so when when those petals start to look off or, or not completed, uh, that's one of the ways that you can tell you don't have head-to-head uh, -head spacing. Again, I still have my same 30 foot by 30 foot, but let's say um, I, I didn't want to do 15 foot spacing. I, I wanted to have closer. Um, this would be the case maybe if you had a, a shrub bed that had really tight planting and you wanted to make sure that the water went across and, and maybe drip wasn't applicable in this instance. So um, what I can do is use 10 foot heads should in this instant equally space across um, and again we we want to have the heads equal all the way across the same radius um, i don't want to use like a larger head here and then smaller heads trying to fill in. Um, 
I've seen some people try and do this where then they put in a bunch of small heads in here. And it gets pretty convoluted. Uh, ideally, you want to take the distance across and then evenly, evenly uh, uh, space it. Again. Do you guys see these nice little flower petals? And then as you can see, so 10 foot, so I'm going to put my 10 foot quarters. But also what you can see is how many more heads that are in this design than our original four heads. We have many, many more here. There you go. And that's another option for a design. In this example, I'm back to the 30 by 30 foot square, but then there's a little bump out of a 10 by 10. Now, um, we could do it with 30 foot quarters and then 10 foot sprays. Uh, but now I would have to then double um, how many valves I have because I would have to do a, a rotor valve um, and then a spray valve because they have two different precipitation rates. So in this instance, I want to try and use the same product across the board. And so uh, what works best in this instance is I'm going to use this design of the 15 foot rotators that we had earlier. I'm just going to borrow that layout to kind of save some time since you guys have seen this. And then what you can do. Let's just add your 10 foot heads in here. Now I've been asked sometimes, could you just turn this into a, a single head? A lot of times a contractor will do that. They'll, they'll put one half head here. You can see it's not it's not too bad. Um, we are coming up a little short, so you'll have um, some weaker spots in here. Uh, so ideally, you'd say this is your your better design uh, for that because now you you have the proper this radius is larger than this radius. If you use the larger radius here going across, you'd overspray as you can see. Um, so this is where having two separate heads, even though they're two quarters next to each other, would provide you a, a more efficient design. Um, and so that would be a, a good layout right here.
Now here we have a turf area adjacent to a shrub area. Um, often what you'd see is this is a 15 foot radius and you would see heads just be placed like this. Typical contractor layout. You know, now we're, we have head to head coverage. Um, but they did say product this way, but the problem is now the shrubs are going to grow up and the shrubs are going to start blocking these heads. And so you'll start getting stress here in this portion of the turf. And also, if you have low water use shrubs next to uh, moderate to high water use turf, uh, you can't properly provide the shrubs with the amount of water they need versus the turf. So again, this is where we separate so this is a 10 foot. So I'm now gonna do 10 foot heads. my head-to-head -head spacing and then just for clarity I'm going to delete those arcs and then is there a little five foot planter bed normally I would do this in drip but for this instance since we're going over sprinkler layout I'm going to do this in arc patterns now we have Fives. And if you're observant, uh, in this instance, if you've noticed the color of our blocks, these actually coordinate to the color of the nozzles um, that Rainbird has so the five foot rainbird nozzles are a red nozzle the 10 foots are a blue nozzle so it helps the contractor out but this would be the design obviously you can see many more heads but this will provide better better water management and better control for your clients